So if we have x to the third, raise your hand, times x to the second, what would that be? x to the fifth. Right. And if we have x to the third, to the second, somebody else, raise your hand, what's that? No. No? Six. x to the sixth. Okay. It's not nine because it's not three to the second. That's nine. But a power to a power. So, this is yesterday's lesson. This is like x times x times x times x times x. So that's what's x to the fifth. This is like x to the third times x to the third. So it's x to the sixth. Okay. Uh, what if I do x to the fifth divided by x to the second? X to the third. Because. Subtract, yeah. What if I do x to the second divided by x to the fifth? X over three. Okay, it's x to the negative third. If they ask us to put a negative, if they ask us just leave everything in the numerator, we're going to put that. If they say only positive exponents, how do I make that a positive exponent? Divide by negative three. No, you flip it. Okay, you guys remember this? So 3 squared is 9. 3 to the negative 2 is just 1 over 9. There's no negative. Negative on the exponent does not make the value negative. So if I have uh, negative 3 squared, do you guys know what this would be? No, it's just 3 squared and then... Exponents have priority over multiply, subtract, all that stuff. So <clears throat> you square just the 3 and then add the negative. But if we put negative 3 in parentheses, then it'd be 20 or 9. Positive 9. Okay, what if we do negative 3 to the negative 2? That's weird. What does the negative exponent do? Flips it. Flips it. So it's 1 over 9. What if we do negative 3 to negative 2 without parentheses? Negative 1, right? Negative 1, right? Okay. Uh, sure. How about 2 thirds squared? No, I don't even know. Uh, well, what does it mean? It means 2 thirds times 2 four thirds. 4 sixths? No, 4 ninths. So, how do you multiply fractions? Top, top, top times top, top, bottom times bottom. So, really, both of these are just. Squared. So it's 2 times 2, 3 times 3, 4 ninths. So what if we had 2 thirds to the negative 2? What do you think that would be? Negative. No, negative. Or, no. Uh, 1 no. over 4 ninths. No. Well, kind of. But what's 1 divided by 4 ninths? 4 ninths. It's 1 times 9 fourths. So you just flip the whole thing. So nice. Flip it. 3 squared goes to the top, 2 squared goes to the bottom, it just all flips. Same thing as this, oh. just flipped. I don't like it. Me neither. Me neither. Uh, it's just got a lot harder. Okay, so back to this. What's x to the negative third equal to? Uh, <laughs> 1 over x. 1 over x to the third. Remember, x to the third is like x to the third over 1, right? Oh, right. Yeah. So it's in the numerator. So when you flip it, it goes to the denominator. All right. So much, so much. That sounds like something. Then you should go. Okay. You would say. Oh wait, there's a little. There's a thingy. Wait, 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 five minutes. There's a thingy. Like, uh, there's a crossword. Uh, <laughs> not a crossword. No, wait till he calls on you. Yeah, crossword. Okay. Number one, since we kind of already did this stuff, I'm going to go ahead and start asking you guys. Um, does anybody want to volunteer? Nope. Alright, packs number one. X to the eighth. Right, just add them together. I guess we'll go Sarah and then we'll go clockwise. Sarah, you haven't even looked at it yet. Number three. My question is, what are the two X to the eighth? Shh. Are you not going to do this with us? Okay. 
So how many X's do we have? Nope, just x to the seventh. x times x, oh, I forgot to do that one. What if I had like, we did this yesterday, but what if it was like x times, x cubed times x, what would this be? Uh, just x to the fourth, because remember that count, that's one. Uh, anyways, when you do x times x, it's not two x, it's x squared. This is the definition of squared, x times x. Uh, how do you make it 2x when you add x plus x, that's 2x. Mm. Okay, anyways, we're multiplying right now. Uh, so it is x to the 7th and then y to the what, Sarah? Um, yeah. And those are multiplied together, we just can't do anything about it, so we just leave it like that. X to the seventh, Y to the fifth. Number five, I Olivia. Uh, Twelve W to seven. Because it's section A. Section B is the same thing. Uh, section A is kind of like yesterday's. Oh, I love it. Look at twenty-four and twenty-six. Look at twenty-one. Although we're actually we're actually doing division Monday, so. Well, we did division on the worksheet, remember? What the heck is? Okay. Uh, let's see, shh, hush. Uh, number seven, Carolyn, how do we do that one? Um, it would be A12. A to the 12th, multiply in that case. So it's different than one to five. All right, number nine. Uh, how do we do this one? Go ahead, Yeah. Would you do the exponent first? Right, yes. So you do exponents before multiplication, right? So we need to do the parentheses c squared to the fourth first. Yeah, multiply together to get c to the eighth. Right. So we have c to the fifth times c to the eighth is c to the thirteenth. Right. So the parentheses part she multiplied, and then the other part she added. Eleven. Skyler, this is you. You're so lucky. <laughs> Squared, right? We're all so dead. Okay. Yeah, negative two squared, negative two times negative two is four. B to the fourth. Yeah, that's like yesterday. You guys remember this from yesterday? Yeah. You heard the one that was afraid. Is number 12 going to be positive or negative at the end? Negative. One of the two, yeah. Okay, is that fourth power on the negative? Does the fourth power on number 12 apply to the negative? No. It's, it's like this right here, remember? The... This negative didn't, well, not that negative. Where was it? I think I erased it. Now, why in the well did you put that guy? I don't know where it was. Well, once upon a time, I wrote this, right? And it was negative nine. Okay, anyways, so the, f the negative is not to the fourth power. Is the negative to the third power? Yes. Yes. Does that make it positive or negative? Negative. Three negatives, you multiply three negatives, it stays negative. So your answer on 12 should be negative. Okay, number 13. Oh gosh. We're going to write that down. 2a squared times 
Negative 5 B cubed. Oh, yeah. We did this yesterday, too. Okay. What do you think? Jaden, yeah. Um, I think you gotta do something. There's only one thing you really can do. Um wow. You could All this stuff is multiplied together, but only one thing can really multiply together. Two Right, you know what that is? Um, negative ten. Okay, what about the a squared b cubed? Can't do anything. So it's just a squared b cubed. Does not simplify any more than that. Four fifteen. Four abc. Cubed cubed. <laughs> this one's good. It's starting to get a little beefier here. Two x squared. Same. Okay, we just <laughs> number seventeen is where it starts to <coughs> surpass the worksheet here. See, he's almost smiling. That was close. That was close. That was close. That was close. It was. It was close. Nothing funny or happy to cross my mind right there. I was just rubbing my lipstick. Anyway, what do you think? Any ideas? Yeah, you want to do the exponents first before you multiply. So kind of both of those. Does anybody know what 5 cubed is? 125? And then what? Yes. Four times a hundred is four hundred. Four times twenty-five is another hundred. So that makes four times twenty-five. I'm just telling you how to do it in your head without a calculator. So this is important. Up here we were multiplying the exponents to get this, and then down here we added the exponents. Is where people usually screw up. Uh, you can just put multiply. I just feel like it's a little clearer with the parentheses, like what's happening. But yeah, you can just, you can just hit times. What even is that? X three Y Z eight. Squared. X three Y Z six. All right. Oh, we have to show work. Pretty. There's most a lot of these you can't show any work. On nineteen, you should probably show like one step, like I did on seventeen. I don't. You don't need to copy the problem down, but maybe show this and then that. That would be good. Okay, CR, it's kind of like the last one. Negative 6 squared? Yes. Negative 3 That's cubed. Negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3. So what would that be? No, because the negative is being squared as well, because it's in the parentheses. So if you had to plug it in the calculator, it would be more like this. So it's positive nine. And then x to the what? Six. 
Yeah. Y to the Yeah, you can think of it as one times two if you want to. Z to the sixteen. Okay, and then you take all that times. Now there's no. I don't think there was an exponent on the right one. So then we're gonna multiply these two together. So nine times negative five. Is negative 45, and then what's x6 times x3? x6 x9. Okay, yeah, so we switched from up here, this was multiply, right? Now x times x, this is adding. And then how many y's do we have? Three. Three. Y to the third. Z's. One third x cubed y squared z. Squared x cubed y squared z. Times eighteen x. All right, so we got three things multiplied together. So. Roman, what do you think we're going to do about, what, what do you think we need to do first? The, uh, exponent. The ex, which exponent? The two. Yeah, this guy. Yeah. Yeah, all I need to know is like, if there's multiple answers. So what is one third squared? Um, oh, one over nine. Right. One over nine. And then the x is? Here. Six. Y's. Four. Z. Two. Okay, I'm not gonna copy all that down. We're just gonna kinda do that. There. Okay. Now what are we gonna do about the numbers? Um so you see. Multiply. Um so what is one nine this is all this stuff is just multiply, right? This times this times this times this blah, blah, blah. So we just multiply whatever order we want to. You guys know what 18 times 1 ninth is? Yeah. Eight uh, ninths. Nope. Wait, is that 18 x to the 2? What's 2? 2. Yeah. 2 times 18 is 1 ninth. It's like dividing by 9. 2. Times 2. 4. And then, Roman, how many x's do we have? Um. Uh, ten. Ten. How many y's do we have? Uh, four, six, six. And z's. Wait, Mr. Jordan. Three. Did I copy something wrong? Yeah, the second parentheses is cubed. It's like two x's. Oh, there was a three up here? Yeah. Darn it. Okay. Uh, no! No! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Alright, so... Here's how I'm going to fix it. Shh. Listen. So I'm missing a factor of, I changed the 2 to the 8, so I'm missing a factor of 4. So we need to multiply that by 4. So it should have been 16. We got 6 more x's than we had. So we need to add 6 to that. We have 4 more y's than we had. But Roman, you're doing it right. And then we had 2 more z's than we had. So it just goes up to that. Yeah, we're getting to the end here, so. Okay, something. Something is very different about 23. <laughs> it's an add and subtract problem. Every problem, I think I covered that wrong too. Every problem 
before this was multiply. This is adding and subtract. What's the rule in algebra with adding and subtracting <coughs> terms? terms? You can only add and subtract like terms. Now, are any of these terms alike? The first, hold on. The first thing we need to do is simplify each term. You guys know what I mean by term? That's a term, and they're separated by pluses and minuses. Okay, so Clayton, how can we simplify this first term? Subtract. Nope. <laughs> Just looking inside here, what can we do to simplify? Uh, the exponent. C times C oh. is what? C2. C squared. So we got 3B squared, C squared minus, can we simplify the middle term? No. No. Uh, did I copy it right? Somebody checking me? Yeah. Okay, we're good. So, I, you don't have to, but I'm going to put this in alphabetical order so that, to, just to make sure they look alike, so we don't get confused. Plus, and then Clayton, what's this last term to turn into? Uh, four. Okay, is this squared? No, only the C is squared. Okay, because there's no parentheses around yeah. this. So what can we do though? Uh, I don't know. Right there. So, uh, two. Wait, so we got two B two C two. All right. Can we do anything else? Are any of these three like terms? Which ones? The, two two. BC the first BC. and the third are both b squared, c squared. So those are alike. So we have three of them plus two of them five. makes five of them. So notice I'm not changing the exponents. Three of them plus two of them make five of the same thing, not five of something different. It's because we're not multiplying anymore. Okay? x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. But if you do x squared plus x squared, that's 2x squared. Okay, we're not multiplying the exponent. Huh? Multiplication has changes exponents. Addition oh. does not. If you have one of these plus one of these, you get two of the same thing. Okay, this problem is different because they were adding and subtracting like terms. Okay, it's not b to the fourth because we're not multiplying. It's not c to the fourth because we're not multiplying. Okay, it's just three of these things plus two of these things make five of the exact same things. Mr. Jordan, is it the same with subtraction? Yeah, same with add and subtract are the same thing. So, well, what did I miss here though? Yeah, I didn't put that in. So just tack that on to the end. No, let's not simplify. Okay, I don't know what BC squared is, but I know it's not the same as B squared C squared, so they do not mix. You cannot add like it's like three x minus four y. It just doesn't mix. Yeah. No, there's nothing. You can break stuff apart, but there's nothing simpler that you can, you can't make any simpler than that. Hey, I guess, guys, I'll tell you what, we'll make 26 bonus, okay? If you want to try 26. Okay, yeah, no. okay, 31. Uh, you can ask the office, I guess. Sierra is the local drug dealer. <laughs> I got some Walgreens. <laughs> Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure a rapper that says Walgreens does not deserve that reaction. 
Two, you just have to add the exponents. It's two to the, that power, whatever 